I can't remember when I wasn't feeling down, sad, or just plain irritable. Nothing interests me. I don't get excited, and work is a constant struggle. I've tried all the medications and put up with their side effects, yet none have made me feel okay. I've talked and talked to my therapist, but I don't think we're making any progress. It feels as though I will never be happy again. Is there any hope for me? There is hope, and we can treat depression. Transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS, is a promising new way to treat major depressive disorder that is not responding to other treatments, such as medication or psychotherapy. I'm Nina Vossen a clinical assistant professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at Stanford and founder and executive director of Brainstorm, the Stanford Lab for Mental Health Innovation. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to TMS and explain when it may be a good option, how it works, and what to expect if undergoing TMS treatment. Living with ongoing depression that isn't getting better despite traditional treatment can be frustrating, discouraging, and exhausting. But with TMS, there is renewed hope of finding relief. TMS has been very successful in treating major depressive disorder with response rates ranging from 30 to 64 percent. And in certain people, it has been even more effective than other treatments for depression. What's more, TMS may even eliminate the symptoms of depression. Let's review some of the situations when TMS may be a good option. One, the person has taken more than one antidepressant medication. Two, medications and or psychotherapy have been ineffective in treating their depression. Three, the side effects of the medicines are more significant than the benefits. Four, they cannot tolerate the medications. Five, the symptoms of depression negatively impact their life and or ability to work or study. If any of these are true, then TMS may be considered. Now, keep in mind that this is just a brief checklist and a medical professional will do a thorough evaluation to ensure that TMS is a safe and viable option for a specific individual. I stumbled across an article on transcranial magnetic stimulation as a therapy to treat depression. I stopped reading when they mentioned using magnets to stimulate the brain. It sounds terrifying and painful. I don't want anyone to poke around in my brain. Transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS, may sound scary, but it does not involve surgery or anesthesia and is not painful. It's an FDA-approved treatment that works in a very similar way to an MRI or magnetic resonance imaging, which is widely used every day across the globe. During TMS, the person sits in a reclining chair in the doctor's office and is awake throughout the process. In the first session, the medical professional will determine the best place to position the electromagnet on the head and the correct dose of energy to use. Then the electromagnet is placed on the scalp over the area of the brain that corresponds to the goals of the treatment. So for depression, the area that regulates mood. It sends steady magnetic pulses to nerve cells and in so doing, stimulates the production of chemicals and the formation of new neural connections. This improves mood and reduces depression symptoms. As the magnet sends out repeating pulses, it is also referred to as repetitive TMS or RTMS. Although TMS is not invasive, it may be slightly uncomfortable, especially at the beginning of the treatment. The magnetic pulses make a loud clicking sound, so earplugs must be worn. They also produce a light tapping sensation on the forehead. After a session, the most common side effects are scalp discomfort, facial twitches, lightheadedness, or mild headaches. All these generally improve after the session and diminish over time. There is extremely low risk of seizures. That doesn't sound too bad. How long does it take? When will I know if it's working? 
A TMS session takes about 30 to 60 minutes. And as it requires no sedation, a person can continue with their normal day or even drive straight after the session. To get the full benefit of TMS, one can expect treatments five times a week for about four to six weeks. But this can also vary depending on the person's response to treatment. TMS can complement someone's current treatment for depression or even replace it. Although many people get positive results from TMS, it may not work well for everyone. It is important to monitor anyone for TMS for worsening symptoms and any worrying signs must be reported to a health professional immediately. What if it doesn't work? I'm so tired of trying to feel better, only to be disappointed. I know it is hard, but don't give up. TMS is still a relatively new treatment, and medical professionals are discovering more about it all the time. As researchers expand their knowledge, it may lead to even better treatment results, especially for conditions such as major depressive disorder, anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, and dementia. So speak to your medical professional if you think that TNS may be an option for you. Mm-hmm.